Hey, what's going on guys? Lord Guy here and today I just wanted to do an update on the video that I made uh, earlier in the week. I do apologize for audio issues. My mic was literally turned around like this so you couldn't even hear me. But now I uh, figured out that uh, I have to turn the mic around now. Now the audio should be better. So first things first, will there be any sort of rollback? Looks like Timo by saying like there is no rollback at all. Uh, yeah, they kind of went with the if you didn't lose anything, then you are doing great. Good stuff on you. Uh, good, good job, Team Mobile, for fighting the good fight. You know, now I want to say if there was a breach, or if these accounts were lost due to mods. Obviously, there's always going to be someone else's spin on it. I'm fairly certain there was a database breach the reason why i say that is if you look at the people that got hacked majority of them are the guys that use mods you know uh, i let me pull up that one screenshot hold on so majority of these accounts were modders the thing is hdd joe was also caught in the crossfire of this breach i'm gonna call this a breach now and HDD Joe does not mess with mods at all. Like, he, he is probably the biggest Boy Scout when it comes to using uh, the vanilla DBO. And if he got hacked, then I'm fairly certain it was an issue on Team Mobile's end. Reason why I say that, let me turn off the, let me turn on Do Not Disturb. Actually, let me go on a tangent real quick. It looks like some of the people that did botting got lo lost a lot of their accounts so the funniest thing is an actual hacker that breached the database did more about botters and modders than the actual admins of the game to me that's actually just insane and it speaks volumes on the ineptitude of t-mobile uh, i'm still trying to find the screenshot though hold on well in any case i, I can't find it uh i guess you're just gonna have to go on my word and <laughs> That I said that I saw someone saying that Tia Mobile fixed the database when the leak first happened. And it's it's not shameful to have a database leak. Like multi-million dollar companies have leaks all the flipping time. So this happening isn't really like it's not out of the woodworks. It's not out of the ballpark. The issue is the response to it. So here, hear me out right here. So in about March, I believe that's when the database, it probably could even be before that. I believe that's when a lot of issues started happening. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I contacted TMO by regarding somebody else's account getting hacked in March. And this was TMO by's response. I want to be clear, accounts can't be hacked. I will look into this directly if the player contacts me, right? So what happened was this dude, he was trying to quit. He was trying to quit the game and somebody asked him what mail, what account, what email he had, right? He said fake mail and then he gave that domain as the email. I think he actually posted it or something like that. And then... What ended up happening was the day right after his account got, get starts getting sold in one of the Dragon Ball group chats. And, he, like, he lost everything. He lost everything to his account, including the account. When he contacted T-Mobile, all that happened was T-Mobile quite literally just gaslit him and said... Oh, yeah, looks like somebody logged into it in March, and <laughs> confirming what we already knew. And then all T Mobile just said was, Yeah, you just gave somebody else your account. And then that's it. I can't see passwords or when they were changed. Did you use a mod or share this version? And then they kind of just ghosted him. Because the thing is, if he was using mods, then it would have he he would have lost the account directly. The big thing is, he didn't lose the account until he tried selling it, uh, and it wasn't the it wasn't the strongest account by any means, but it definitely was one of the first 
accounts that were just yanked out of nowhere. Um, so, yeah, this is when T-Mobile kind of just kept giving him the runaround. And it looks like all they just said was, hey, yeah, somebody played it on the 18th of March. If it's not you, then somebody got your password. It's like things that we already know at this point and things we've known from the beginning. And then all they said was, you need to talk to the person you shared this account password with. They just gaslit him into thinking that he was the problem. They are playing and locked you out. We can't use forgot password because the that's the one thing that I'll give them. Like, yeah, you can't do any. They can't do anything because they can't use forgot password. Uh, but this was one of the first occurrences of the database breach, and they still, T-Mobile, for whatever reason, still refuses to acknowledge that there was any sort of hack or leak on their database. Which, to clarify, it's not an issue that a database gets leaked. The issue is your response afterwards. Like, I, I um, actually, I don't know. I, I usually have my stuff secured, so I can't really say. I can't really give an example. Hold on. But if that's, if something like that were to happen to me or an organization that I am using and people's shit got leaked, I'd just say, hey, sorry about that. Something happened. And then I'd explain what that something was. There's about three things that could have happened. So one was a password checker so that it was one of it, one of the most commonly used tools way back in the day where you'd have the email and then you just run through a oh actually hold on hold on hold on hold on there was a company called the rock you i don't know it was somewhere in the 10 something like that and when they got hacked there was passwords about 14 million of them and what people found out was if you could run code that would check the password and match them to the email, you can log into a lot of flipping accounts. That would be one of the first things that would be the first thing that I would look into. That's That could be one of the most common things, just a, straight up just a password checker. Um, so if you have a simple password, that's why companies tell you to have uh, a password with uh, capital letters, unique characters because of stuff like this. Yeah, right here. These were a list of, oh my goodness, that does not look. Wow, lubrication system, thanks. But these are, this is a list of, <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot of passwords. And that would be one of the first uh, things. Second thing is database breach. This is when either somebody that used to work for T-Mobile had the, who still had access to the database. I, I still have access to the databases of companies I used to work for. Um, I, I obviously, I can't do much on them, but like that wouldn't be far-fetched. Or the system is buggy and somebody could have just waltzed in and parsed through data that they didn't have access to or they had access to but shouldn't have. That's the only things I can think of. And it looks like it is one of those three. Actually, hold on. Let me see. The, the point of the matter is your accounts are only as safe as your trust in T-Mobile. I, I don't know. I don't, have, I don't have much more to say after that. I, 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 I've lost all faith and trust in T-Mobile. Um, it, it's, it's, it's very clear to me their their willing their willingness to not care about anyone that their company services it is genuinely wild to me that players do a better job of destroying modders and botters than the actual admins that have told us for decades now that they're going to do something about it I don't understand where they get off on saying like, these accounts are toxic, we're looking into it, and then they just proceed to do just nothing. They proceed to do jack diddly squat about any issues that the community faces. 
And it, it's, it's really just shameful at this point. We've seen time and time and again their ineptitude for doing anything meaningful for not even the community, but for their own gain. And I, it's, it's, it's fun to see. It's like a train wreck. You, you just can't help but watch. Uh, thankfully, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't touched this game in a good amount of time. So um, this will be, this will be um, maybe a, a goodbye for now. But I do want to say I have been making videos on Dragon Ball content. So uh, when those do come out, please support it. I work pretty, I work pretty hard on those videos. Um, they're obviously not the best. Obviously, you can find way better quality elsewhere and anywhere else. But it's uh, it's it's a nice passion project to go into. That's it. That's all for me. Um, till we meet again. Lord of like, Lord of subscribe, Lord of peace. See ya.